Hi folks and welcome back to a special edition of Ugly Dog Lures. Uh, one of our viewers, Tyler, his sister passed away and the family has asked us if we would uh, paint some fishing lures to commemorate the memory of her. So uh, I'm going to try to get through this. So, uh, her favorite colors were green, lime green, pink, and purple. So, I'm just going to jump in here, folks, and uh, I'm going to get this party started. And I'm going to get these painted and get them in the mail to those fine folks. Uh, you have our deepest and sincerest condolences. Uh, we love y'all. We we'll pray for y'all. And, uh. Let's just get started before I start crying. So we're going to start with some pearl, lime, and we'll make purple the dominant color in this bait. For young Madison. So uh, it always tears me up when stuff like this happens folks. So, so let's just get started. Stand that out just a hair. I'm actually gonna wrap these baits and do two different wraps on them. So let's just get into it and get it done. Ooh! Somebody got my air pressure up way too high. actually have a local artist coming over after a while and she is gonna put her name in the side of the lures she's not here yet but I'm gonna go ahead and get them painted and get them started drying so they'll be ready when she gets here nice young lady favorite colors folks. I'm going to come down. You still got to have it up a little high. Huh? It's blowing right at me. That's a clean brush. Does that honey. I'm going to get up and make that nose too. Crazy old man need to get it done. So there's that. Let me uh, clean this brush out right quick like and in a hurry. And then I'll heat set that. We'll wrap it. I'm actually doing two lures to send to them. And I hope they like them. Her favorite colors. So, and that's what I'm going to do for them. So, I'm very happy to do it. It's pretty much an honor to get asked to do that. In my book. This one's drying good, folks. Let's uh, 
set it over here to the side and get the other lure I chose them to do for them. And uh, let's go ahead and get some lime green put on that one. Give them a good chance to dry before we wrap them. Could have done that any better. So now we'll uh, clean our brush up quick. Tiny bit of alcohol in there, like I told. Clean it good. set that right quick okay folks we're back uh, working on these lures for for uh, Miss Madison so uh, Mr. Tyler wanted us to do these in memory of her so I'm gonna do them so I got some new stuff folks so uh, I'm gonna use on these And I'm going to have to do a little bit of redneck ingenuity to hold it on to this lure. But that's no problem. All I got to do is pull and twist. And tighten right up. Very nice. That's going to be beautiful. It's such an honor to do this for them. I just am ecstatic that I was even asked. So... Pull it and twist a little bit. And then we'll be able to clip the front, get them good and tied up front, and I'll be able to clip the back. It's just something that I wanted to try. This is a, some stuff my wife brought me in the other day. She said, oh, try this old fat boy. So I did. She really didn't say that, folks. It was much worse than that. <laughs> There we go. We're going to give that a shot. And then this other one, we're going to do something different on it. Uh, we'll be using the amethyst on this one now. So uh, let's just get her started. What an honor. I'm just very moved by it. I think my wife was too. Very much so. Yeah. There's a beautiful amethyst. Got mm. that old air pressure. Let's throw a heat set on that right quick. <clears throat> I'm gonna 
just a little bit more on there. Very nice. You didn't get the nose. I did get the nose. Mm -hmm. You better look again, woman. Who's your daddy now, girl? <clears throat> Just sit over and eat your nacho fries. Your nacho fries. Yep. Well, I can tell you right here, I may like this stuff. I thought it was pretty when I found it. But it's covered in glitter. That's alright. I knocked a lot of the glitter off onto my jacket. That way, uh, you know. I sacrifice. I'm just glad you put on your own jacket. Well, I knew where it was, but he you know me. I know, that's why I freaked out you had that new jacket on. And I think you already got a spot on it. You're hiding from me. I did. I don't care. Nobody gonna say nothing about one little spot on the paper except for you. Yeah, folks, she's mean to me. I told y'all. Not really. Well, over there. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Well, let's set it over here. Let her start drying. Folks, I went looking for five months of new stands, and guess what? Ain't none in the country. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Ooh, let's lay that off over there to the side. And I'll cut me some tool, because this piece ain't big enough for that big old lure that I'm just going to put it on. There goes that infernal foam, folks. It's always a dinging. And she got me some new scissors too. But you already tried to cut wire with this one. Well, honey, I'm not perfect. At all. There too. I think I got a whole nother roll of this somewhere. That's all. That's all. But I have bought two big old <clears throat> rolls of it when I went and bought them. So on this next lure, quite a bit larger lure. Let me get it all wrapped up. Cut this down just a little bit here. Just kind of square it off. It's easier to wrap. Will be our pink tourmaline on this one. And on top of this beautiful lime green. Progressing now. Cut some more clips on here and we'll be ready to 
mix up some pink paint. Start laying it on here. This is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty. Also the first time that the second camera will be on. Yep. We're actually filming this with two cameras now. We bought another new one. For close-ups. We're doing uh, more close-up stuff, so it came in and my wife's been having a ball with it, playing with it. I'm very lucky folks to have a the life that I have and the wife that I have and the friendships that I have in this world. I feel very lucky and blessed for that. Very. And I know she's lucky to have me. Very. <laughs> she just rolled her eyes out loud, folks. Maybe, maybe, maybe more. Another couple of drops. Let's start laying up some tourmaline on here. Yonk too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sit on that, put another coat on it. That's gorgeous. Wow. That is one beautiful little bait right there. So folks, we got a one of our local artists coming over and she's gonna put her name on the side of these lures, I guess, in calligraphy. And uh, so until she gets here, that's all we got for now. So uh, we'll film it if we can. Yeah, we'll film it if we can. I don't know uh -huh, if she'll, she'll be comfortable on camera. See but if me. she ain't, we'll show you the after effects, definitely. I'll do so. some close-ups while she's doing it with the other camera. Yeah, yeah. She's a pretty good artist, so we'll be back shortly, folks. Okay, folks, we're back working on the lures for Madison and Tyler. Uh, this is Kate. She's a local artist here and she is going to 
write the names on the lures for me. She's been around me a long time, so she He's kinda, my dad. What is she, he saying? I don't know. <laughs> she kind of knows what to expect out of me most days. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I'm going to give her the table. And I'm going to move back out of her way and just let her have at it. So, uh, it's all yours, pumpkin. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm Kate, and I'm going to do some calligraphy on these lures for uh, Miss Madison. And then we also have Finn to introduce. We actually have a name for him now. This was my dad's gift for Christmas. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to start with the little one here. And I've got a marker and then some other lures that I did before for practice. So I know what I'm going to do. And just got to jump in. Making sure that it's not too forward, not too towards the tail. Just got to try to make a consistent line width. And legibility is important. Yeah, if it was me writing on those lures, wouldn't nobody be able to read it. We know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some of that, but there's like a black shade behind it, and I don't know Good. how to get rid of it. You don't. Okay. Well, anyway, I like how it turned out, other than getting that black part off. You're not going to get the black part off. Anyway. That's all good. It makes it one of a kind. Oh, well, it's already one of a kind. It's unfortunate. But it's beautiful. Throwing your equipment around. I don't care. Those He's things already are, broken so many Those ways. things are worn out. Yeah. <laughs> I went to go buy new ones and guess what? They're out right now. They don't exist anymore? No, they exist. They're just out right now. <clears throat> oh, that's where that one 
honest. That wouldn't make sense for the table on ten feet. <laughs> it would limit his creative flair. I'm tempted. I don't have any creative flair. Oh, absolutely, you do. Alright, well, they're... Careful about the smudge you made, that pen smudges. Yeah. They are done. They look awesome. They gotta sit there and dry. Yep. Before we move on with the project, so... We'll do that in the morning. Yep, they're gonna probably have to sit there and dry overnight. Mm -hmm. This one's already dry. So this one should be dry soon, but this one is... It'll take about 20-30 minutes for them yeah. to, to dry good. So. so I hope they enjoy these. Yeah, they will. It's just been a an honor that they ask us to do them. Uh, yes, it is. Yes. Uh, you have our deepest condolences. And it's it's nice to spend a day with my mom and dad. Yeah. yeah. So, guess we're gonna end it right there until we start epoxying. So. Well, thank have you. Have a blessed evening, and I'll catch you shortly. Thank you for doing that for Yeah. Oh yeah. You'll be a reedy if I try to do it. <laughs> me either. My hands are not letting me do that now. That's the neon yellow, and that goes on the small bait. We could actually put it on this pink bait too. That would look nice. Okay. So, yeah, we'll put the same one on both. There you go, folks. <laughs>